everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing really, really well. Happy New Year. This is my first video of 2023. I hope you all had a really lovely Christmas and New Year. That honestly feels like it was so long ago, but as I haven't been back on my YouTube since, I just wanted to say that to you all, but I hope you are all good. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today's video, as you can see from the title and from behind me, is an ASOS haul. For me, ASOS is like my go to if I need anything quite literally if I'm looking for coats jumpers jeans trainers that is kind of where I go it's my favorite place to shop because it has everything in one go including beauty which I do have a few beauty bits in this haul as well which is really exciting so if that does sound like a bit of you then, then be sure to give this video a massive thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe down below I'm also going to pop up my Instagram handle on screen now so you can go over there and check me out as that is where I tend to style a lot of these pieces up but without further ado let's get straight on into the video so my first purchase from ASOS was these New Balance trainers. I have wanted a pair of New Balance trainers like this for the longest time and obviously they are quite pricey. I actually picked up these ones. These are the navy colour and I just absolutely love them. They just look so nice with leggings and socks and jeans and they're just a really nice trainer to kind of pair. As much as I love the other colourways. I would find it hard to style them if I didn't really have things in my wardrobe that matched. So I feel like the navy and white one was just a really, really good option. One thing to note on ASOS is when they have like 20% off and various discounts, some New Balance trainers are actually excluded from the discount. However, these ones aren't. So when ASOS do their sort of 20% off, you can get that off these trainers. And I think mine came to about £50. So for a pair of New Balance trainers I think it's an absolute bargain so if you are on the hunt for a pair like this especially New Balance then I 100% recommend ASOS because they have so many styles on there and you might be able to get a bit of money off which is always always a good thing. I stuck true to size, I got a four and a half, which is great, they do half sizes on there and they fit me perfectly. I've worn them so much already and I just know they're gonna be like an absolute staple in my wardrobe. Next up then, a quick one, I got this cute little beanie. This time of year, I literally love beanie hats so much. They're the only hat that I can pull off. I can't really pull off caps or any other hat to be quite honest, apart from a beanie hat. And this one I absolutely love. This is from Reclaimed Vintage. If you have been here a while, you'll know that that brand on ASOS I absolutely love. I've got shorts from there and I bought a dress from there before. And the stuff is always really good quality. So I just thought this was so cute. I love the gray color. This was only five pound. And the quality of this is insane. It's so warm and it's really thick. And then it just has this like embroidery here with reclaimed vintage on the front but i just think this is so cute like i love it so much i love the like dark gray color it's just one of those colors that's kind of going to be able to go with a lot of outfits which i think is really nice i've totally just messed up my hair now by putting that on for you but obviously i'll have like trial clips of everything so that you can see it in a bit more detail but yeah i absolutely love this it's just like an easy thing to chuck on and it's so warm the quality is amazing and for five pound like i think you can see in the camera to be honest how like good quality this is so yeah if you are in the market for a beanie hat this one 10 out of 10 next then is a pair of jeans so as you are all very much aware, shopping for jeans is something that I literally hate doing because I always really struggle to find a pair that fits. I don't know why I do it to myself. I just really like to give lots of places a chance and just try out lots of different styles as well so that I can kind of tell you guys about it if any of you are like struggling to find a nice pair of jeans. Unfortunately, we did end up with a bad pair here. These again are for from Reclaimed Vintage. 90s straight leg I think is what they're called. As you know, straight leg jeans mm, can be a little bit difficult for me to fit into. But because these were like a 90s fit oversized baggy, I thought we would be okay. However, I was very wrong. I love the colour of these and I also love that Reclaim Vintage do this on all of their denim. So this is the colour denim and then they basically just go down into like quite a wide leg jean. Not too over the top because I feel like that can swamp me a little bit. 
but these just did not fit me whatsoever I stuck true to size and got a waist 30 which I believe is a 10 to 12 and they were just so tight like they literally didn't do up on my waist and yeah I'm just really disappointed with the fit of these I'm not sure what's gone on here but they just were too tight it was more sort of around my thighs where they were just like so uncomfortable which was really upsetting unfortunately they were not a success but the hunt continues i know exactly what kind of jeans i want and unfortunately these just weren't it however I did actually pick up another pair of jeans from asos again these are from reclaimed vintage now this is where it gets a bit fuzzy for me and this is why i hate sizing and things like that these ones are a waist 28 and i have room in my in the waist of them these ones did up i had that back gape so I had room around my waist and they were so high waisted and they fit around my legs these ones were a 90s inspired dad jean so I'm not completely sure what the difference is between the two I just thought that 90s jeans were kind of all the same but that's obviously just me they came in like this washed denim and again they just go straight down into like a wide leg jean obviously you'll see on the try on clip sort of like how they fit but these are so comfortable. I was so surprised that the smaller waist fitted me a lot better. But clearly a dad jean is kind of like the style that I need to go for as opposed to like a straight leg, especially from this brand. This pair of jeans I can highly recommend. They were super comfy. And as I said, they were like that perfect baggy, like cool girl fit, which is exactly what I was looking for. So I was super surprised and happy that these ones fit me. So if you are like me and slightly curvier or in between sides, sizes waist 28 and these jeans will be perfect and everything will be linked down below anyway do a haul in the winter time without including some sort of oversized sweater which is exactly what i picked up i am obsessed with this sweatshirt firstly it is so soft i can't even tell you it is so cozy it's not the thickest of jumpers but it is like wool lined inside and it's just Oh my god like i can't explain it this is just something that i will wear all the time with leggings jeans like i just these are the things that i gravitate towards because they're just so comfortable this one was actually from hollister and i did get it in a medium it does say that it's an oversized fit and to be fair i don't think i would want this any bigger than it is and then it has this big colorado print here on the front which again i just love i love a big graphic on a sweatshirt i think it just looks so cool i wear them so so much it's ridiculous like at this time of the year all I wear is leggings sweatshirts big coats and Uggs that is literally all I wear so this one oh, such a welcomed addition to my wardrobe and I actually don't have a grey sweatshirt which I find kind of bizarre because I just think it's such a staple kind of colour to have and it also goes so well with the beanie which you'll see on in the try on clip but yes I absolutely love this quality is insane and it is so so comfy the perfect like Sunday attire yeah love it as I mentioned at the beginning, I did pick up some beauty items from ASOS. The first thing that I picked up was this e.l.f. putty blush, which looks like this. I'd seen this all over TikTok and I was kind of due a new blush because I've had the same one now for a while. It's the Refi blush and there's literally nothing in the pan left. Like it's basically all gone. So I really wanted to get a new blush. This one is in the color Tahiti and you can see it's that really lush like like hot pink kind of blush which is my absolute favorite so i'm really excited to use this i am going to be doing a whole video of like testing new makeup and makeup that i've kind of been loving over the last month so stay tuned for that because i will feature that in here and kind of do a wear test and see what the color looks like and then the other thing that i got then was the hydrating core lip shine again from elf one of my friends that i met out last week had one of these and when I say it looked exactly like my Charlotte Tilbury lipstick on her lips, I was like, okay, what is that? She told me it was from e.l.f. I obviously went online and it's here. I'm so excited to try this. I got this in the shade, I think this is the shade Lovely. Yeah, so this is the shade Lovely. And then you can kind of see, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that. It's like a heart-shaped 
a little bit in the middle and essentially it's like a lipstick round the edge and then a gloss in the middle so that when you put it on your lips it basically gives you like that really juicy looking lip basically of a lipstick but it's also going to be hydrating because of the gel bit in the middle so i'm really excited to try this again this is like the perfect shade for me i love this kind of color so yeah i'll be featuring these two in like a new makeup video so stay tuned but as you are all aware elf makeup is so affordable and you can obviously get asos discounts on them as well so it just makes them even cheaper Okay, so that is it then for this ASOS haul. I really hope that you enjoyed. Everything from today's video will be linked down below in the description. Let me know what your favourite piece was. And please let me know any other brands that you want me to try out or do hauls from. I always like to know what you all want to see. But I have lots of videos coming up over the next couple of weeks. So please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a massive thumbs up if you did enjoy. But that is it from me. I really hope that you like this video and I will see you all very soon with a brand new one. Bye.